Hello everyone and welcome to my Ika-chan walkthrough. This is going to be a walkthrough movie actually and yes I will start a new game by the way whenever you save your game in this game it'll actually ask you this when you restart the game and it'll, the default thing will always be yes so make sure you select no if you don't actually want to start a new game but in this case I do want to start a new game. Yes this game was made by Pixel the same guy who made Cave Story. Oh, yeah, baby. I just played through this game recently, despite having this game for ages since I've had the Cave Story Deluxe package thingy and it comes with it. Uh, so you've been able to play this game for a while as well, but you will likely found that it was in Japanese, so don't play that one. <laughs> I'll have a link to the, in the description to a English translation of this game. So then you'll be able to play along in English just like this right here. Anyway, the controls of this game are fairly simple. You've got the Z button to fart bubbles. Eh, yeah, fart bubbles. <laughs> and you got left and right there. You notice that left and right doesn't do anything, but they do when you combine it with some propulsion, and that's how you move around in this game. Uh, the S brings up your inventory, and that's pretty much it for the controls. Yeah, I'm playing this on a keyboard, so Z button for propulsion, S for your inventory, left and right. That's all to your controls. It is very simple, and you will get the hang of this very quickly, and you should not touch spikes like I did <laughs> so yeah anyway just gradually get used to the controls here it may take you a little while I intend on getting all these dead fish rations around here as well for the fun of it as or at least as many as I possibly can to 100% this game you don't necessarily have to do that but anyway also to talk to people you just land on them or touch them from the side wait you know me it's, oh, Iron Head sounds like quite the bad guy. I am going to have to take care of them, aren't I? Oh, so wait, he's just the ruler of the area? Hmm. So you have to have a pearl in order to not be attacked. Of course I want one then. <gasps> Do you have, oh wait, no, you said you didn't. No, I'm just kidding around. Anyway, these clamshells right here. Yes, I would like to rest. This recovers your health. Uh, as do those dead carcasses of fish, and you can also save your game here for later. But I am pretty much going to play this game non-stop until I beat it because this game is ridiculously short. Uh, I, I just recently beat this game actually, as I said, despite owning this game for a while, and I just played through it once and did a practice run for this walkthrough because this game is so short I figured it'd make a great walkthrough movie so I've only played through it two times before and yes you get items from fish remains it seems like the dead sea life around this area is like I don't know it contains health it contains items anyway now that you got the spike hat you can check it in your no I don't want to talk well, I guess that is kind of interesting that I could talk to you and you change your thing. But anyway, I mean, change your message. You'll see that your spike hat is in your inventory here. And all you have to do is just ram right into sponge blocks and you'll be able to break them like that. But before I go move on, I'm going to go back to the start and open up a pathway. If you recall, there were sponge blocks way, way at the beginning right here. Well, I'm going to have to come back through here later in order to uh, get through this game, basically. So, I might as well open up the path there right away as like a shortcut before I uh, move on with the game. So, let's just backtrack a little in case you don't realize this red LJ, I don't know what the heck it is, maybe it's poisonous LJ. But whatever it is, it hurts, and it does three points of damage. Um, you can't break this despite you having the spike cap. You can only break things that are above you yet. Or I should say so far, excuse me. Don't worry, you'll be able to break blocks on the side of you soon enough. But as for now, you're going to have to live with breaking things that are above you. Now, let's move on with the game. Oh, you can also kill enemies as well. Those fish over there, for whatever reason, don't give you any experience points. Yeah, experience points you get from those fish food, ow, those fish food from killing enemies, like you've seen that blue uh, number one up here, that is an experience point. Um, red, like if I were to take a hit from that puffer fish there, is damage to you, and those fish also recover your health, so yeah. So 
his name is Carrie, huh? Oh, so it sounds like he is blocking my way to some place. Well, that's actually pretty obvious since you can clearly see that there's a path behind him. <laughs> so the Mother Pearl is missing. I'm gonna have to find that and stop these earthquakes. Wait, what earthquakes? What is going on here? There seems to be more to this game than first sight. Uh, why did I say sight? I don't know, but I should break apart as many of these sponge blocks as I possibly can to clear my way through here, just because it, it makes swimming through here a little bit easier. Um, the controls are kind of wonky, so this game ends up being slow paced because you have to be careful with how you swim. Like, see, I had too much thrust there and I almost went into that crab there, but it's a thing that you have to get used to, and it's sort of more of a relaxing uh, action game, so to speak, which is kind of uh, out of the ordinary for action games. Hey, nice to meet you, Pinky. So, uh, no, I don't know him yet, but I will. Don't worry, I will soon enough. He's essential to this game as well, you know, for progression's sake. So, uh, oh, if you didn't notice, those uh, bubbles over there moving downwards, that is current. So, the bubbles will push you in the direction of the current, basically. And Norton Antivirus is saying that something is using up a lot of computer resources. It seems to be Windows Audio for whatever reason. Maybe it's because I'm rec recording and I am, uh, you know, it's like the audio from the game and the uh, microphone at the same time being picked up. Oh, there we go. It, took, it, it disappeared. Anyway, don't go to the left just yet. You can't do anything there. There's only one thing in this game that I never figured out going through here twice, is that when you talk to this guy here at the storehouse, he's like, Oh, I'm ruined a dead man. Oh, dear. You're not here to attack me, are you? No, you seem like a pretty friendly yet paranoid guy. <laughs> sure, I'd like, like to hear your story. Now, basically, he lost his pearl. So, yeah, he can be attacked by other sea creatures. But this is the thing. Yeah, I would like to find your pearl, but he gives me something here, and I don't know what it's used for unless I just didn't... Unless there is no use for it or something like that. It's an herbal serum. It's a thick, smelly liquid. You're not sure what it will do. But I can drink it, apparently. Um, maybe, maybe what it does is it recovers your health. But I'm kind of afraid to use it, actually. Because it might be useful for, like, something else. Well, you know what? I'll test it just in this walkthrough for the first time. Because of the fact that I've never used it before. And I was trying to figure out what I might have to use it for. I mean, for all I know, it just might be to recover your health. And, or at least I think it might recover your health, or, or unless maybe I'm supposed to hold on to it, I'm not sure. <laughs> That's uh, kind of a thing that I've been wondering here. And you'll notice curiosity killed the cat. Don't go in there for the fish just yet. You're going to have to commit suicide if you do. <sighs> <laughs> Believe me, you will. <laughs> anyway, over here is another guy. He's going to say, I hope Pinky's okay. And he, Yeah, another guy is mentioning the earthquakes over here. You don't know the name of a lot of these critters until the very end of the game, actually. So anyway, now you want to go up through here, through these sponge blocks. They might also be, I don't know, Swiss cheese, but I would highly doubt that being underwater here. And... Oh! Yeah, if you talk to this guy after talking to the rest of the guys, that earthquake will occur. But if you come here later on, I mean, if you, excuse me, if you come here earlier than that, nothing will happen. And so that was one of the many earthquakes that are going on around these areas that are changing the landscape. And that was just one of the ways to get through there. Oh no, he says no one's going to fit through there. He won't move out of the way for us. Oh no, that would be too nice of him. No, no, no. Oh, by the way, those crabs can only hurt you uh, when they're flashing, and they're also invincible when they're flashing. So avoid them when they're flashing, basically. And just keep going your way through here, trying to unravel the mysteries of the sea, eating fish along the way. And you know what? I am going to take a hit from you, because I don't know what that serum is for. You know, come on. Come on, hit me with your flashy self. Uh, come on, come on, come on. Now I'm going to go in and... Uh, what will it do? 
Yeah, it does recover your health. Okay, so that makes sense. You can keep that if you want. In fact, I've never used it once, obviously, since, as I just said, I didn't even know it was used before, but evidently it's just used for recovering your health. I guess I'm so used to playing games that I always think that there's like a deeper meaning bef behind items that you find, per se. But in this case, I guess all it does is recover your health. It doesn't seem to be used for anything else. Um, I'm just getting myself some fishies around here, and yeah, I won't need to recover my health, obviously, to get through this game. As I said before, I've beat this game without using it, because of the fact that I just simply didn't even know what it was used for. And I'm repeating myself like 800 times here now, ow, and I'm also getting hit by spiky seaweed or whatever the heck that stuff is. I have absolutely no clue. <laughs> And I'm just gonna eat fish along the way to recover the health that I lost from that red stuff and crabs. <laughs> what is that stuff anyway? I have no idea. And needless, needless to say, puffer fish hurt you when they touch you and they're flashing as well as crabs. That strangely, that crab didn't hurt me when it touched me while it was flashing. Maybe it wasn't moving fast enough. Maybe it has to have enough forward momentum like I have to with my little fart bubbles. Anyway, I'm gonna save my game, stop the recording, and start up a new recording because of the fact that Cam Studio can't record for too long without corrupting. Ah, oh, that was quick, wasn't it? Back to the movie. In fact, there's no need, even, no need to even save back to the movie because of the fact that this is one whole video, so you didn't leave at all. <laughs> Unless you hate my commentary or something like that, which is very possible. But so you're a sentry, huh? Uh, attack stars, huh, well... Uh, everyone has a pearl. Yeah, um, wait, oh, no, what? Uh, I mean, yes, I do have a pearl. Uh, wait, no, no, this, this, no, no, oh, poopers, epic starfish battle. Yeah, you have to kill all the starfish in this boss battle of sorts. It's not hard at all to do. In fact, I'm just going to casually wander my way through. Oopsie doodle. <laughs> but you do have, to, do have to be a little bit careful with the controls here, because you probably are still getting used to them at this point in the game, but since I played through the game two other times before this, I've got the controls down pretty well. And... come on. I need to be going at a certain amount of speed to kill you. There we go. No problem whatsoever. Yes, I am, because I've played through this game two times. <laughs> and you'll notice that he opens up this pathway over here, and talk to him again just for the fun of it. I'll land on your head to talk to you, because that's just how squids do that, basically. <laughs> that's how squids communicate. They land on critters' heads. I bet you didn't know that. You're going to have to watch more National Geographic or something like that, or read more National Geographic, one of the two. It's in there somewhere, believe me, you'll see it someday. Anyway, let's just continue on our undersea adventure and see what else we can find, such as this new fangled upgrade, which actually doesn't look all that new at all. I mean, it's could have been rotting in here for all we know of. Suka bread, interesting, and now we have... Whoops. Suka bread! Yeah, if you want to check it, it's stale and unappetizing. Well, that doesn't sound very delicious. Now, you'll notice that you won't be able to get through those blocks right now, but actually, we're going to be going through there from the other side, so don't even worry about those for now. But I am going to eat these fish by using my... F the power of gravity, not my power of gravity, to fall through these bubble current thingies. How does current even end up in a 2x2 two two square? I have absolutely no idea. Usually current comes from a source and just for fun of it I'm gonna talk to you over here. Did you read the code yet? Well actually you know what I will read that code because I didn't read that code did I? <laughs> it says strangers can't be trusted and thus will be attacked. Those with pearls are citizens of Ironhead's realm and are protected from the danger that strangers face. If you have a pearl, do not attack fellow citizens. What goes around comes around. If, you've, if you're ever caught without your pearl, you might be attacked yourself. And that's pretty much it, I guess. <laughs> now, you'll notice that I got suka bread. Well, somebody wants suka bread. There's a pretty hungry iron head, or, or uh, excuse me, not iron head, <laughs> but the guy claims that it's iron head that's hungry and wants this suka bread. And we're gonna go talk to him right now. It is this guy over here, this fishy fish. 
As long as the Mother Pearl is missing, violent earthquakes rack our waters. If you find it, bring it to me at once, and... You have suka bread, I love, I mean iron. <laughs> yeah, so basically he's hungry for that, and now he's like... He's gonna want something else, this greedy fish. Uh, yeah, sure, I guess I'll get a shrimp cocktail for him. I mean you. <laughs> he definitely doesn't uh, make much of an effort to hide the fact that he's the one that's eating the food that gets brought over to quote-unquote iron head. <laughs> anyway, the storehouse is over here. And yeah, this is the food storehouse over here by this here, just work your way over there. As I said, the game control is kind of wonky, so it's more slow paced, but it's a very relaxing game, and that's partially why I like it. And it's very well made too, as well. You'll see as I go around. Anyway, uh, go back over to Carrie, that ornery looking fish that's also extremely hungry. <laughs> and go over to here. There, wait, no, talk to, there we go. <laughs> and go ahead, take it to Iron Head. Mm. He want, he's still hungry and he wants crap. This is pure blasphemy. I've never seen such a hungry fish in my entire life. This is preposterous. So back to the storehouse we go. So this part of the game I'd say with the whole backtracking dealio thing is kind of annoying, admittedly, so. Uh, it's only it's the only annoying part of the game I'd have to say well besides the control sometimes like getting through that one square block but I could have avoided it simply by going through um, the left side there so evidently they've got a pretty big food shortage despite there being loads of fish like that scattered across the sea maybe they don't make much of an effort to search for food despite them being ridiculously hungry by the way did I go down here before to talk to this critter Maybe I didn't, because I didn't get those fish over there. Oh, and he'll give you a little tutorial here. He'll say, when you hear this sound, the enemy was too strong and resi resisted your attack. And uh, that'll happen when crabs are flashing and you try to attack them, as well as those uh, puffer... Well, actually, those puffer fish die when you thrust into them. So what am I trying to say here? I don't know. Maybe I'm trying to give false information accidentally. But if I'm doing it accidentally, I can't be trying to do so. And I assure you, I'm not going for false information accidentally. <laughs> yeah, I just repeated myself there for the fun of it. Anyway, we gotta go back down there once again. Just flop through here. Maybe I should have went down the left side, but whatever. I could be using cuts, but eh. This is a walkthrough movie, so I gotta go through all the movements, so to speak, and all the steps, basically. And he now he wants a globefish platter. This is preposterous. <sighs> Un-freaking believable. So now we gotta go over here to get another Glow, I mean, get to get a globefish platter. I've never seen such a hungry fish in my entire life, I swear. <laughs> so anyway, now you talk to him this time. Things are a little different, actually. So he's gonna be like, hey there, that's my pearl. Yeah, I got a pearl from him. And so apparently that Carrie guy either found the pearl and just kept it with him and gave it to me. I don't quite understand it. So now I gotta find... Uh, a globefish patter, plat, patter. What the heck is wrong with my English? <laughs> so now I gotta find it on my own. But go talk to this guy down here, and an earthquake will happen. Yeah, but that was a huge one. Oh my! I hope Pinky is okay. Could you go check on her? Yeah, sure. I'll go check on her. And I'm not going to go over those by those fish just yet. I can't break blocks sideways, as I said. And a, and a sideways breakable block appears over there if you go through that place where the curiosity cared, killed the cat, so I can't do that just yet. Just thought I would remind you of that along the way back. And now let's go talk to Pinky. And... <laughs> Dang you, gravity, you are not my friend. And oh, there's a hole here now by Pinky. So we're gonna have to go down here and land on our head to talk with her. Wow, that was fun. The ground collapsed and I fell down here. <laughs> Can I do it again? Uh oh. Can we get all Mr. Eco Chan? Uh, well, I don't know. I guess I'm gonna have to explore the area. 
and hopefully not get attacked by the wild undersea life forms. And I'm not going to save my game just yet until I get to these fish down here. I, as I said, I intend on getting all the fishies in the game, the dead fish wandering and not wandering that are around here. If I can, if I forget some, it doesn't really matter. All the fish are in plain view, really. So, yeah, there really isn't any secret fish to be found in this game. Uh, they're just basically for the fact that I'd like to uh, get them all, basically. Gotta catch them all, basically. And I just said basically there twice. That is not good commentary. Anyway, let's go up the left side and eat while being thrusted up into the heavens. Well, not so much the heavens, more like an underwater sea adventure through here. And trap, trap, trap! Oh, I couldn't avoid it. That That's kind of a trap that got me a few times. I don't know how to avoid that, actually, unless you get the fish individually and just like do it casually and gently moving forward or just like maybe duck towards the right before you get into that little cubby hole of sorts. That's my only uh, possible idea on how to avoid that. Anyway, over here is a dangerous little section. We got current pushing you into these. I still don't know what the heck these things are. I'm just gonna call them Spike LJ. <laughs> and I'm gonna try and get through here. Oh, one hit. That's my best round yet. The best I've ever did before that was two hits. And now here's another item that we have, or I should say we're gonna be getting. It's the capacitor, and now, if you don't get the idea, we are going to be able to break blocks sideways. We still can't break blocks that are below us, and we actually never will be able to. That's part of the game's gimmick, is the fact that you can't break blocks that are below you. Oh, I forgot to show you how to use the capacitor. I should say, tell you how to use the capacitor. Just hold the thrust button, you know, little fart button. And when he goes, whoo! Like that, you'll be able to break through the uh, sponge blocks. And now you'll notice that we're back over here, and sure enough, we'll be able to get those inaccessible fish that we couldn't get before. Ah, very good design on Pixel's part, I have to say, so that you don't have to do any major backtracking. It sort of solves itself, basically, the, the mystery of it. And now what you want to do is go back over to Pinky, basically. And I said basically again! No! I am going to slap myself. <laughs> there, I just had to punish myself or something like that. Anyway, back over to... Wait, actually, I'm going to save my game and stop the recording just for a second down over here, if you don't mind. In fact, you don't have any choice in the matter or say in the matter. <laughs> I guess this is recorded ahead of time. Hold on. All right, we're back. I forgot to mention before, if you let yourself sit in one of those clamshells, it'll keep asking you if you want to rest and save your game. <laughs> so I just basically move out of the clamshell because it just keeps asking me over and over. <laughs> And it's kind of annoying, so I figured I'll just uh, get myself in a position where I can just thrust myself forward right as soon as the recording or second recording starts. Now you'll see, oh that no, that block is in the way, but the, these sponge blocks are over here and they're breakable and then Pinky's gonna be overjoyed. Ika-chan, I didn't think you would be back. I knew you were a good guy. I knew it. I guess I'll go home now. And she's gone. Now we gotta go back over to the storehouse area, so retrace your steps, I suppose. There's nothing else you can do but to do that, and you can also make yourself a little shortcut now by going through there if you would like. See, as you go through the game, that is part of the good design element here, is that it makes it less tedious to go through the game as you uh, go through the game, basically. So this backtracking sort of solves itself as you go. And now that I have the capacitor, uh-oh, I'm locked in, but uh-oh, I can break my way out. <laughs> so it's really no problem, problem now, and I can get all these fish rations here. I guess these fish got trapped and were I don't know, starved to death, despite them, you know, being able to eat themselves. I have no idea. They could probably lived in here for centuries if they wanted to, with how many fish end up in this place. Or maybe this was a storehouse at once. 
I have absolutely no idea, and I probably probably should have got these fish at the top first so I wouldn't take any damage, but alas, I didn't use my brain, and I ended up taking damage. Anyway, back to the food storehouse, but actually go down here now, and he'll be like, I can't thank you enough for saving my pinky, and she'll be like, hey, hey. how can I thank you? I don't have much to give, but if you want this globe fish, you can have it. My mom says it's too dangerous for me to eat. Basically, the... A globefish is a poisonous fish, and apparently, uh, Carrie down there, Ironhead's right-hand man, wants that globefish platter despite its poison. I don't quite understand that myself, but, <laughs> but that's what he wants, so that's what we're gonna give him. And this is why I was unsure of what I'm supposed to use the serum for, and I'm gonna show you this right now. Now, just watch this. I'm gonna give him the globefish. I'm going to gobble it. Uh, I mean, bring it to Iron Head immediately. <laughs> he's making less and less effort as we go that uh, to hide the fact that he's eating all the food. Now, this is where I thought I was supposed to use that herbal serum, is right here. Ugh, globefish, poison, stomach ache. Ugh. Yeah, I thought maybe I was supposed to like recover him from his stomach ache, but no, that's not the case. You can't use it any time for him, so I think that herbal serum is just there to recover your health. I, I could be wrong though. Anyway, I'm gonna save my game before I move on in that new area. And there we go. Yes, I really don't need to save at all, honestly. This game isn't hard at all to beat. Uh, despite that current section, that current section is probably the hardest part in the entire game, actually. Um, over here, we're about to meet- No, I don't- Not meet you! We're about to meet Ironhead! Does he look familiar? Yes, he is the cameo boss in my Cave Story walkthrough when you were at that, uh, waterway place. Ironhead, him! He's the one who's been stealing- <laughs> Burp the <laughs> food from the storehouse. He tricked me too. He tricked me into giving him a pearl. Hmm. Who is this puny squid? It doesn't matter. I shall crush him. I have been betrayed. Anyway, he uh, can only be damaged when his eye is not. I mean, when his eyes aren't red, basically. So, this is the main boss of the game. And. I am going to... Or, I thought it... Oh, never mind. <laughs> I thought you could only damage him when his eyes weren't red. I just thought I would try that for the fun of it. Anyway, when he's level with the, with you, he will charge at you. And that's the only time that he can hurt you, is when he's flashing like that. Just like the other enemies, actually. And... Oh! Uh, you got the better of me there. Uh, the best way to fight him is to just stay in this open area right here in the center and then just do these little thrusts into him and he'll do three damage per hit. That's probably the fastest way to beat him. He's got the most HP out of all the critters and he should. I mean, he's the main big boss of the game. <laughs> so that makes a lot of sense, you know. <laughs> anyway, I've got to set him up so I can do my thrust into his soft underbelly. There we go. You can just set him up by uh, falling as he's coming after you, and it'll be set up perfectly every single time. And he's gonna come for me. And sure enough, I'll be able to ah! time myself. That would have worked, but I failed so hard. This boss isn't hard at all, actually. As you can see, I'm not really taking much effort into. Uh, <laughs> Dodging all that much because of the fact that you know when you have to hit him He's doing that charge attack towards you So that's pretty much the only way to hit him is just to get with that rhythm So I guess na dodging comes naturally here in with the boss as I said, it's not hard and he's already defeated and yeah <laughs> I, I could easily beat that boss without taking any damage whatsoever actually I did it on my second run through the game but Whenever you're commentating, your attention is divided, and sadly, Iron Head is famished, and that's why he was looking for some food, even though Carrie was the one that was eating all the food. <laughs> Maybe that's why he's famished, because Carrie's the one that's eating it all. Um, that's all you have to say for yourself after all this? Is that all you have to say for yourself? Oh, well, you deserve that stomach ache. Anyway, now it's about time we go get our little 
I mean, that little star critter way, way back at the beginning of the game. So let's go get that star critter. Uh, mm -mm. This little fart bubbles getting our way back to the start. Casually moving our way through the dangerous LJ, which is definitely the most dangerous thing in the entire game. <laughs> and there we go. Just thrust your way through here. And there we go. Hey, Pikachu-chan, it's me, Ben. Thanks for freeing me. What trapped you? Nonsense! There has to be a ship somewhere. With a ship, we could jet right through all this rock and get to safety. I'll take a long and look out for one. And you need him to finish this game, basically. You won't be able to pilot a ship without him, so... And... Oh, I said basically again! No! <laughs> I, I'm, say, I'm saying no to the word basically as if I lost, like, a good friend or something like that. <laughs> anyway, now I'm going to... Yeah, I'll rest and save my game here because I took a bunch of damage in that boss battle. I probably should have did that before I went to go see Ben. And you shouldn't have done that. Yes, you definitely shouldn't have done that. Yeah, I made a reference there. Oh, yeah. Who, who's going to get the reference first? I don't know. <laughs> so, anyway. Now what you want to go... Go to, excuse me is the food storehouse. That uh, sea urchin that was in front of it that's running the storehouse is now gone. And you can collect the fish that's inside. Yes, we are the only undersea creature that is gonna have any food in our bellies. <laughs> and I believe this is all the fish in the game actually, right here, after I collect them all. Gotta catch them all. Fisherman or something and this thing this egg here. It's a very strange ship, but apparently it is a ship. So uh, uh, Now he's gonna pilot the ship but actually we're gonna pilot the ship the most ridiculous looking ship with eyes ears and a giant nose window with some lips and the, your hitbox is exactly the same as Ika Chan's is despite your enormous size as well as the fact that um that you can fit through the same size openings. It's kind of silly, actually, in the big context of things. And now I want to go up there. Basically, what you want to do... I said it again. <laughs> uh, you want to go up and, I should say, get all the critters around this area and have them board your ship. Well, you know what? I'm going through there. I mean, I'm going to be coming through there later on, so I don't have to get him just yet. But I will get you. We're escaping! Hooray! And now you're finally going to learn the names of uh, some of these critters. Like, well, I guess that's just Pinky's mother there. <laughs> and this will be Pinky's father. And this will, of course, be Pinky. I don't know why they don't tell you the names until you pick them up in your ship. But that's just how things go, apparently. <laughs> so... We, maybe this is like a submarine of sorts. I'm gonna try this one last time. I've been up through here before and I know it's possible! Oh, yeah! All right, I just guess, guess I just needed to take a little break from there. <laughs> I was bound and determined to get all the critters if it was the last thing I did, even if I have to take unnecessary shortcuts. In fact, that wasn't much of a shortcut because as I said, I'll be coming through there later anyway. So that was more of a long cut, if anything. And yeah, it's, it is a spaceship, so bored. Come on, there's plenty of room for everyone. Don't worry. Everyone will be saved, except for crabs. For some reason, you can't pick up normal enemies in this game. I don't understand why. <laughs> Maybe because they're just too violent or something to board a ship. And a UFO? Well, yeah, hopefully everyone will be able to get in the ship and... Now let's go ahead and get the critters down here, like this guy over here. Did I ever talk to you before? I don't remember if I ever talked to you before in this walkthrough. He's pretty unnecessary, so if I didn't talk to him, that's simply because I didn't need to talk to him. You board this ship! Yes, I did. Well, actually, Ben boarded the ship. I should say Ben found the ship, and I'm gonna save, stop the recording, hold on just a second before he finish this game. And we are off, baby. And I think I got all the 
undersea friends that I possibly can get around this area. I don't recall there being any more. I certainly hope I got everyone here. Uh, I don't actually think you have to rescue everyone, to be honest, though I may be mistaken. Uh, as I, I believe I've always rescued everyone through all my trials, I should say all my playthroughs of this game, so that's why I'm kind of unsure if I have to rescue everyone, but it just makes common sense and common courtesy to rescue everyone. So now let's go through here, and actually, you know what, I'm gonna show you one thing before I go through there and get the last guy up by those attack starfish over there because there's some uh, interesting dialogue over here. No, no, no. Go down. Fall down. Use the power of gravity to your advantage. And over here, where carry it. Oh no, I'm too far up. <laughs> I would like to pick up carry. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. It takes a little bit of getting used to the controls, as I said, and it takes even more getting used to riding this ginormous spacecraft that seems to have the same hitbox and, as well as sprite size as Ika-chan himself, which doesn't make much sense, but eh. Anyway, talk to him. Me? Board the ship? I don't know, I'm still really sick, and he boards the ship anyway. Hmm, actually this is kind of exciting. <laughs> Um, if you talk to Ironhead, he'll be like, What? You want me to escape in that silly thing? Are you kidding? Well, I'll consider it. So, he doesn't want to board our ship. Though I question how he's actually going to fit in this ship. Anyway, now we're actually going to move on here. And moving- ah, Moving up is far easier than falling down because you have the power of your thrusters as well as left and right. So what is this, powered by squid farts or something like that? Or it's got it's got its own air tank of, I don't know, methane? <laughs> so, I, I, I don't know. Anyway, we gotta go through this path one last time carefully. I said carefully <laughs> to get ourselves the last buddy that was releasing the starfish on us. At least I think that's the last guy. I really hope I didn't miss anybody. I would feel very bad if I missed somebody. <laughs> but anyone that you can talk to in this game, you can pick up with your ship. So you should know who that is anyway. Uh, I'm not going to bother saving. The game is nearing its end, unfortunately. That's why this is in walkthrough movie format. Interesting rocket. It's almost, it almost looks like a bird. A what? That looks like a bird? It's an egg! Well, I suppose birds lay eggs. Oh my god, it's another earthquake. We must get the others and leave now. Yeah, this is why I wanted to pick up everyone that I could before this event happens, because once you talk to that guy, this big earthquake with super hyper action-packed music goes on here, there's no way to stop the earthquake. I don't know if you have a time limit to how, lo how long you have to rescue everybody, but... Uh, just to be sure, I made sure to pick up as many of the critters as I possibly could ahead of time. Now we're gonna go see Ironhead, because I don't... Did I get the guy... I mean, everyone there was... Yeah, this was... No, wait, 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 wait. Yeah, okay, yeah, this was just the... Uh, uh, the place where the guy tells you that if you hear this sound, dunk, that it's... Yeah, you can't destroy the enemy, that the enemy was too strong or something like that. And, uh... Yeah, that is pretty much the walkthrough here. <laughs> I'm just gonna go talk to Ironhead, and time to leave. I'm still not sure. How long will we be traveling? Where are we going? Is there going to be any good food there? Ironhead was forced onto the ship, and we escape! We made it to safety. I bet there are some tasty fish up here. Congratulations! You're in outer space. You escaped to space. It doesn't make any sense. How do undersea creatures live in space? Maybe we're maybe it's all filled with water on the inside of the craft. But I don't know. There's no food in space. I don't get it. But the game is finished. That's all there is to do, I think. <laughs>
I hope you enjoyed this walkthrough, and I'll see you in the next walkthrough, which is probably whatever I'm doing at the time when I upload this. <laughs> Toodle -doo! Yeah, there's absolutely not nothing that you can do at this point, so... Time to end. Well, I'm in the recording. Toodle -doo!